everybody. My name is Garth Harwood. I'm the Director of Education here at Hidden Villa's Environmental Education Program. Today we're going to talk about how the energy that fuels us starts right up there with the sun. At Hidden Villa, we use the sun's energy in all sorts of ways. This is a solar oven. And a couple of hours ago, even though it's January, I noticed it was a sunny day, so I went ahead and put some apples inside my solar oven and pointed it directly at the sun, and the sun's energy has been trapped behind that glass, warming up to, I got it to 250 degrees Fahrenheit today. Thank goodness it's not that warm out here, but this thing's really good at concentrating the sun's energy. So let's see how they're doing, huh? Wow, look at that. These apples have been baked until they're tender and soft. Mmm, and they're softer and sweeter than ever. Thank you, son. So here I am in the Hidden Villa garden, and we've been talking about how we can cook food with solar energy by using a solar oven. This thing is a sort of a solar oven too, but it's actually known as a solar dehydrator. Here, we trap the sun's energy behind this corrugated plastic panel, and the function of this giant box is to dry out some of our farm crops, such as tomatoes, apples, and other crops that can be laid out on these trays, and then the sun's energy comes in the box, heats it up just enough, not enough to bake it like with my apples, but to dry it out, and then that way, we can store the great surpluses of the harvest season for use throughout the winter and the rest of the year. Now, if we were to look up in the distance to the building there, you can st see still another way that we use solar energy here at Hidden Villa. There are solar panels that collect the sun's energy for electricity and also to heat water for our building. So we've talked about several different ways that at Hidden Villa we collect the sun's energy with solar panels and with a solar oven and with a solar dehydrator for our crops. But my favorite way of collecting the sun's energy is also the most ancient way. Did you know that plants, in fact every green leaf on every plant in the Hidden Villa garden and on the entirety of the earth is actually a solar energy collecting panel as well? In fact, sometimes at certain seasons of the year, plants are able to collect so much energy that they can afford to put some of it into special storage structures that might turn a bright color and might turn an interesting shape and might be fun to pick and eat and enjoy as food. One of my favorite bundles of solar energy collected as food is a strawberry. This strawberry, every sweet bit of sweetness you taste in it is sugars collected from the energy of the sun. And when you bite into one, think about this next time you find one to bite into. You are tasting sunlight. Delicious. Well, if we were to take a little look at this apple tree here, you might notice it hasn't got a single leaf on it, much less fruit. There is a season of the year when the solar energy is far more abundant than it is right now. Think of what time of year the sun might be delivering the most energy to planet Earth and the most energy for plants to grow with and to store as food. If you conclusion that summertime is a time with the most solar energy reaching the Earth, you're right. Is that also our major harvest time of the year? Not so much. It's the solar energy that's collected throughout the summer that makes the fall of the year the most abundant season for harvesting crops at Hidden Villa and elsewhere. Every plant food that we eat will give us energy from the sun with which we can grow, move, and stay warm. Thank you, plants, and thanks again, sun. Thanks for listening, folks.